this picture of Tim Berners-Lee is in the wrong spot. You can see it's in the wrong spot because it just doesn't look right on the page. It also looks like a picture that was just jammed in. I want to apply some styling features to this picture so it doesn't look as out of place as it currently looks. In order to do that, I'm going to go into my page and I'm looking in my index.html. This is not the place to apply the styles. This is the place to apply just the structure for the page and we've already done that with that image source file that's in there. That means I need to go over to my layout CSS and I need to start styling that picture. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to put my picture in and I'm going to line it up so that it works right. Here I am saying look at the image tag, float it to the right, put a background on it, put a margin around it, add some padding, put a border on it, and change the colors of it a little bit. Let's have a look when I save that and I go to my page oops, and open up index.html. I've now pushed it over to the right and I've got it sitting there on the page with a white border around it and a picture in the middle. There's a slight problem here because I haven't got my alignment right and I'll want this to push down slightly. That's going to be our next goal. But the picture is in and it looks much better than it looked previously. Here we are at the web page with the picture in the wrong spot again. What I want to do is to move this picture down so that it fits between these two orange lines and looks like it's in the right place. On this one here, instead of me having the right code in right away, I haven't put the right amount of padding in, so the picture is sitting in the wrong spot. That, however, is quite a good opportunity for me to show you back and forth how to edit it to get it right. I'm going to go back to my code, and I'm going to look at the top margin. The top margin is 24 pixels from the top. I'm going to try making that 45 pixels from the top, so it's just a straight change. Save it, back onto our web page, and F5. It's moved down slightly, but not enough. So I'll go back to my CSS. I will find that bit there, and I will change it to about 60. And I will save it. I will come over here. I will F5 my page. It's looking better, but it's still not quite in the right spot. I might go down and change that to 65. And... I actually want this not to float on the right hand side at this stage, I want it to float on the left side. Let's save that and see what we've actually ended up with over here. Here we are there, I've got my picture, it's floated on the left hand side but it's now sitting over that tag and I don't actually like the way this looks so I'm going to go back to my original and keep it floating on the right hand side save it over here, refresh it, and we've got our page, and I'm quite happy with that. I could be a little bit more finicky and get it balanced completely perfectly, but at this point in time, I'm quite happy with that page. Let's have a quick flick through and see how our web page has changed over time. From nothing, other than our body, our div tag set in, and we're starting to go through and organize our div tags, to all our div tags going in, to some content going in that's unstyled, to most of our content that's going in, a little bit of styling that's appearing at the top with pictures being put in, to style that's applying to the H2 and H3 goals, to individual styling inside the divs, to styling of the tables and the list and the organized formats inside our whole content, to a picture that's gone in to a picture that's stylized but is in the wrong spot, to a picture that's stylized and in the right spot. So this whole website is now beginning to look like a finished product.